Hey, Barbara Lair with Cycling Strong. So I wanna talk a little bit about something I don't talk about in my book. So if you haven't checked out my book, go look at it on the Cycling Strong website. It's the Leadville 100 Mountain Bike Survival Guide. You can also find it on Amazon and uh, uh, I think Kindle right now. So anyway, go check that book out. Love for you to buy it off my site so I don't have to pay all the Amazon fees and all that fun stuff. But one thing you need to have is that both stations you need to make sure that you have a new tire, and this is the tire that I'm riding right here, the Racing Ralph Evolution uh, tire right here by Schwabble. And you need to make sure you've got a new chain for your bike or things to make sure that you're mechanically taken care of that way. Make sure you've got tire lever at the stop. Make sure you've got a way to put either, you can use this type of system to be able to put it through the valve stem the stands, which I don't have at both of my locations. Um, you need to make sure you've got some stands, no tube, or a sealant. You need to make sure you have a big air can to make sure you can inflate the tire. And you need to make sure that you have a way to top it off if you need to there, another CO2. And you need to make sure that you have a, a lid to be able to put on these to make them both work while you're there. Because it doesn't do you any good if you can't get the air out. And uh, I have a setup like this that I put together in a bag and I take it, whoopsie daisy, and I have it at both stations so that if I come in and have any problems with anything, I've got tools, which there's a set of owl wrenches and stuff like that that I take with me, and I've got all these little supplies at both stations. And yes, it's overkill, but I'm telling you, when you come in there, if you need something, you don't have time to be messing around. And so you might as well have it all right there in a simple form to get there. So when you're going to Leadville, start thinking of preparation right now. Your bike should be at the mechanic shop getting fixed, everything, your shock, everything gone through. So you have a new bike, give yourself a couple of weeks to ride it before you get out there. Last year, I had a chain break, cost me 45 minutes because I wasn't prepared. So I didn't get the big belt buckle because of my lack of preparation. Don't have that happen to you. Keep cycling strong. Hope you enjoyed this segment. If you have anything that you take with you, please comment below. Subscribe to the channel. See you later.